Okay, boys and girls, this is the pretty much the final lesson for our Patterns and Equations unit. Uh, this is lesson six, uh, solving equations involving multiplication and division. I know this is lesson seven, but we skipped one of the lessons, um, which was a problem solving lesson. So we're actually one lesson behind them in the book. So we're in lesson six. Very similar to yesterday's questions where we were doing addition and subtraction problems. Now we're doing multiplication and division. So um, here we have to solve this problem. For a school fundraiser, Yetis is packing boxes for children in Guyana, South America. Yetis has 48 notebooks. She puts six notebooks in each box. How many boxes will have notebooks? So it then asks, how many different equations can you write to solve the problem? List each equation. So we know that she's got 48 notebooks and we're dividing them into groups of six, which will tell us the number of boxes that she'll have, B. That's one equation that we could say. We could also then say that uh, the number of boxes multiplied by six books in each box would be a total of 48 books. So there's two different equations that we can write. However, both equations will get us to the same answer. Again, we can solve this by using our guess and test or by using inspection. That was shown to you in yesterday's lesson. So if you haven't, if you can't remember that, go back and have a look at yesterday's lesson. Now, for many of you, you'll know 48 divided by 6 because you can do your multiplication facts. 48 divided by 6 is 8. So B would equal 8. We also know that 8 times 6 is 48. So there's the answer to our question. How many boxes will have notebooks? There'll be 8 boxes. B has to equal 8. Here's another problem. Clive watched the first snow of the season fall outside his window. Each hour, three centimetres of snow fell. The total snowfall was 15 centimetres. For how many hours did, snow, did it snow? It then tells us to write an equation to solve this problem. Let T represent the number of hours it snowed. Here are three equations we can write and solve. We can, first of all, use multiplication. We know that the total snowfall, which was 15 centimetres, the total snowfall equals the snow that falls in one hour multiplied by the number of hours it snowed. So we can say that 15 equals 3 times t. Or when we're multiplying, we can just put the variable right beside the letter, 3t. 3t is the same as 3 times t, okay? So here's that being explained over there. That's one equation. To solve this equation, we think, which number do we multiply 3 by to get 15? We know that 3 times 5 is 15, so t has to equal 5. Another way of solving it is we can use division. We know that the number of hours it snowed equals the total snowfall divided by the snow that falls in one hour. So the total, uh, the number of hours it snowed equals the total snowfall, which is 15 centimetres, divided by 3 centimetres an hour. So T is 15 divided by 3, T equals 5. Last one, uh, we also know that snow that falls in one hour, which is 3 centimetres, equals the total snowfall, 15 centimetres, divided by the number of hours it snowed, which is t. So that another equation is your 3 equals 15 divided by t. To solve this equation, we think, which number do we divide 15 by to get 3? 15 divided by what is 3? 15 divided by 5. So in all of these questions, it's going to point to t equaling 5. It's snow fell for 5 hours. Now, what you're going to do on your Google Sheet is you're going to solve each of these questions, telling me what the answer is. Let me show you a couple of examples. 
So for number one, two times m equals four. So m for one a has to equal what? Two times what is four? Two times two. M has to equal two. Um, uh, two times m is six. Two times what is six? Two times three. M has to equal three. So fill in those answers for that for those questions. Remember, this one is tricky here because sometimes children forget what these all mean when you have the variable put together like that. That means 20 equals 5 times C. When you have the variable and the letter and the number pushed together, it means multiply. So this is 2 times C equals 30 when you have 2C like that. Or 4 times C equals 44. Or 50 equals 5 times C. So tell me what C equals for each of those and work through the questions. Um, once you've done all the questions, number 10, this can be a bonus one for you. Uh, once you've done all of those, then you go ahead and um, oops, go ahead and work on the last two challenge pages um, that are also attached to this day's lessons. And then make sure you turn everything in so I can see how you've done.